Hello, good morning. It's great to be here with all of you today. There's been a lot of controversies uh, recently about what does it really mean to be open? Uh, we've got things that used to be open uh, that are no longer accessible. Uh, we have things where source code is being relicensed. We have things being called open uh, that are not necessarily open. Uh, we have a lot of new regulations that are going to be impacting uh, what does it mean to be able to do open development. So what I'd like to do uh, this morning with you is to spend a few minutes talking about you know, what do we believe uh, open means, and what is Huawei doing to ensure that we can make sure that this big open ecosystem that we all live in and work in today remains open. So the first thing, open means open source. And open source, according to software that is licensed under a certified open source license, full stop. So for example, uh, earlier this year, uh, when we released our open source project, uh, Quasar, uh, this is a project uh, focused on how do we bring uh, multi-sandbox uh, container capabilities uh, to the cloud. Uh, so whether you want to use WASM or you want to use a traditional container and so on, uh, you can orchestrate it all using this project. But when we released this, uh, we put it under the Apache license, uh, which is, again, uh, one of the certified open source licenses. And perhaps in the sign of the times, uh, we explicitly put on uh, our website that under this uh, Apache license, uh, this is completely free to use for personal and commercial use, no restrictions, absolutely. Uh, and this is very important because it's the foundation of everything that we build upon in order to make sure that things uh, stay open. But open source by itself is not sufficient. Uh, we've also talked a lot today here in this conference already about open governance and the important role that that plays. So for example, uh, when Huawei open sourced our KubeEdge open source project with the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, uh, the CNCF, that meant that we put it under the terms of the CNCF's IP charter. I put it up here, I don't expect you to read it here, but I want to highlight something very, very important about this charter, which is that when we release the code uh, and put it under the governance of the CNCF, all code must be open source. Code cannot be relicensed. Code cannot be withheld. And when you think about a lot of the issues and the controversies that we've had recently, it's very important that we take a look at what is the governance structure of the projects that we release and how does this ensure that the technologies continue to remain open for everybody. Another uh, uh, issue is that uh, there are a lot of companies who think that we would love to be able to open source the technology, but we want to keep the business benefits exclusively to ourselves. Uh, we don't believe that's the way that open source should work at all. We think that when you put something out in open source, the goal is to build business opportunities for everybody to share in, in an expanding pie. So for example, Earlier this year, Huawei also released another open source project called Expanse around a new open services cloud initiative that allows you to create uh, truly portable managed services across the multi-cloud. Uh, there was a French uh, research company called Decision that earlier this year in Brussels published a research study around what would be the impact of this new open source project on the European cloud market. And what they found was that this would be able to expand the growth rate of the European cloud market from its current 14% to 279%. This is a dramatic growth in business opportunity that everyone can equally participate in, not just one single vendor. So when we talk about open, we mean open business opportunity for everybody to share in as well. And then, Finally, I want to talk about open participation, starting both from big, uh, including very large companies uh, such as Huawei. Uh, you've already heard Gab and others talk quite a lot about uh, the Cyber Resilience Act here in, EU, in the EU and a lot of the potential threats uh, that that could create for our open development model. Uh, so this is one of the official responses that Huawei filed uh, with the European Commission. Uh, and I just want to highlight, uh, you know, as a vendor uh, selling open source based products and solutions, we believe that it is completely reasonable for us to be regulated and to be able to comply with strict security regulations. On the other hand, open source foundations are here to provide a public service and a public good for everyone to build upon. And we believe that it's very important that the platforms and the organizations that provide us with this ability to, to do open source and to do open governance remain open for everyone to participate in. So it's very important that we continue to push this. And the final uh, area, just to end on, uh, even down to the individual participant uh, from an open source standpoint, uh, including myself. Uh, so 
Uh, back in 1997, uh, when I was still a student, uh, learning how to use this brand new operating system called Linux, uh, I sent out an email uh, to the mailing list at my school, uh, and I was asking, you know, how in the world uh, do you get root access uh, to a Linux box? Uh, I won't explain uh, what kind of trouble I wanted to get into uh, in terms of why I wanted to get root access, uh, but suffice to say, I encountered a very welcoming community uh, that was able to come and teach me all the new ways about how to get involved with this operating system. And that was my first exposure to open source, uh, and I loved it. Uh, and more than 20 years later, uh, you know, I was born in the U.S. I spent uh, most of my life there. Uh, I moved to Hong Kong uh, in 2017 uh, to work in China uh, for Huawei. Uh, the last few years, uh, I've been spending about half my time here in Europe. Uh, and if you know anything about the world today, uh, you'll know that this is a very unlikely combination of things. Uh, but this is one of the things that's very important uh, to me personally about open source, is that within this global community, we can find ways to, uh, to work together and to build bridges and to collaborate together. So it's very important uh, that we protect uh, this uh, aspect of being open uh, for open participation for everyone as well. And this is something I'm personally uh, very invested in. So uh, thank you very much uh, just for coming uh, today. If you're interested at all uh, in any of the things I spoke about, uh, whether it's the study I mentioned or uh, some of the open source projects I highlighted, uh, we welcome you to come visit our booth. Uh, we've got a lot of handouts, printouts of the study. You can also check out the website uh, that I've listed here. Thank you very much.